Hello lovely friends and welcome to another studio vlog. Thank you so much for joining me and if you love studio vlogs please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to give this video a thumbs up. That's really appreciated. Thank you. Uh, this studio vlog is a little bit different because it also combines with our staycation. Um, what we did, we were supposed to go to Robe and if you want to know more about Robe you can check out the video up here. But um, Robe is a beautiful country town down the southeast, about four and a half hours away from where we live. But we unfortunately had to cancel that trip because we had a sick kitty, Rosie. And she is fine now, she's just on medication. But it just meant that we had to cancel our trip. So we decided to go on a staycation. So we made a list of all the places that we wanted to visit. You know those places that are too busy on the weekend? you just can't get into or it's just too crazy. So we made a list of what we wanted to do and we had a really amazing week. So I'm back at work now, working from home, which is fantastic. But um, yeah, it was just so relaxing. So we're going to take you with us. So I hope you enjoy this studio vlog. Today is Saturday the 31st of July so I am going to Collective Haunt today. Now we're not open to the public today because if you saw my last studio vlog which you can check out up here then you will see that we had a seven day lockdown here in South Australia and even though now we still have quite heavy restrictions like we have to wear masks everywhere and there's still restrictions on um, you know how many people can be per square meter we have not opened to the public until Monday. So on Monday, we're going to have a new exhibition opening and then we're going to open for 18 days straight. That's seven days a week, uh, just so this, so the exhibition gets the amount of days that, that um, they normally get on a normal month. So it's gonna be pretty different. So I'm going to be gallery sitting on a Sunday this month, which will be next weekend. And um, yeah, look, you got to do what you've got to do and also you have to be fair to the artists it's not their fault there was a lockdown and the gallery closed so we're just doing the best we possibly can so today i'm going to go work on my tapestry i'm also going to get a part of the gallery organized for um, sala which is the south australian living artists festival we have this festival every year in august and most of the studios like collective haunt have like an open studio weekend where people can just come in and wander around so that's next weekend. And because I don't have physically have a studio at Collective Haunt, I'm going to have a little corner of Jane's studio that she's let me <laughs> put a few of my pieces in. So I'm just gonna prepare for that. I'm also just going to trim the back of the tapestry that I just finished. And I will show you that soon. I just cut the tapestry off the loom. I posted a short, so go and have a look at that up here. But um, yeah, there she is, the boob. I uh, just need to do all the finishing off of the hem. And um, yeah, it's, it's all done. So I'm going to warp up the loom again when I get home from the gallery. I really want to do another x-ray weaving because I've really missed doing them. They're really fun to do. So I'm going to do that. And then when I'm at the gallery, I'm going to work on my second piece in this series, which is the pelvic scan. So I'll show you what I'm working on when I get there.
just having a sneaky beer at a local. <laughs> It's Thursday, we are going on a road trip today up north. Do you want to explain where we're going? <laughs> sure. Um, so we're going up north to Laura, um, which is in the mid-north, and we're going to be visiting the grave sites of my maternal grandparents, my Uma and Upa. Um, they both lived up in Laura for a really long time, um, and we might also go and visit their old house, which I have some very fantastic and vivid memories of as well so going for a bit of a road trip um, and then we're going to go back via Clare on the yep. way back the Clare Valley um, which is very very beautiful especially at this time of year yep. um, Sounds so good. I hope you enjoy coming with us Yay. <laughs> So I've been having trouble getting my tapestry yarn. When I say having trouble, I mean that I get tapestry yarn from the UK, but it is crazy expensive postage. So I pay about, I don't know, 30 pounds for the actual cone of yarn. 
And then it's another 40 pounds for postage to Australia, which is crazy and ends up being way over a hundred dollars Australian. And I'm sick of it. So I'm trying to look for new wools that I can use for tapestry. And I went through Sunspun, which is in Melbourne, and they suggested this, don't know how well this will show up on the camera. It's quite coarse, which is what I want for tapestry. I don't want anything too soft and spongy. Only problem is it comes in a skein <laughs> and I don't have a swift or a ball winder or anything. So what I'm doing is, <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, I'm putting it on my warping mill and that's how I'm going to wind it into a ball. So we'll see how we go. But it's only, it's two ply. Again, it's gonna be really hard to show you. It's two ply and this particular focus, <laughs> this particular uh, wool is from Denmark. So the funny thing is if you get Australian yarn, an Australian spun yarn, it's just way too soft and spongy for tapestry. And also I like my tapestry to be really stiff. So I need the wool to have a lot more texture and be a little bit more yet yeah, coarse. So this feels the same as the English wool that I've used. So I'm pretty happy with that. And it's a lot cheaper. It's only 13 Australian dollars for 50 grams. Plus they only do a flat rate postage. So the only problem is I've got to wind it onto the ball, but you know, that's, that's fine. And also they've got quite a few colors. So if I wanted to experiment in using this wool in other parts of the tapestry, I can do so. So if you want me to make a separate video about the wools and the cottons and the linens that I use for tapestry, please let me know in the comments. I know a few of you have asked me before, so let me know.
Thank you so much for joining me for this studio vlog. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you if you made it through to the very end. Please let me know in the comments if there's anything else that you'd like me to cover tapestry wise, hand weaving wise. I'm always happy to give tips and tricks of my experiences. So until the next video, bye.